This tutorial is the zipper panel addition to the Big B tote bag. So you would have already needed to purchase the Big B pattern. And this um, tutorial will show you how to attach the zipper panel instead of using a magnetic snap for the bag. So this is what it looks like when the bag is done. This is a Big B with a zipper panel. And the tutorial is going to walk you through, um, really there's only two steps that you need to know. You need to learn how to make a zipper panel and then you need to know where to attach it to the Big B. So we'll go ahead and get started on that. Here are the pieces that you will need to add a zipper panel to the Big B tote bag. You'll need four of the long ones, one of the zipper end, you'll need a 14 inch zipper, a couple of sewing pins, and some sewing clips. Now there's two ways that you can make this. One will have a raw edge and one will have a finished edge. If um, you want a finished edge, before you start the next step, you'll want to go ahead and edge coat around um, one long side and then both of the short sides. You'll just add a little bit of edge coat to uh, finish the side. So you'll want to do that first and then let them dry. If you are not using edge coat, then we're going to start by prepping our zipper. To start, we're going to prep our zipper by making a couple of marks on each side. I normally go down about a half an inch from where the zipper stops. So those marks are there and now what you want to do is fold it over and pinch at that mark so your zipper looks like this and then while that's pinched down you want to fold up the side so that you have a rounded edge. I'm going to use a pin and just put that in to hold it in place. What we're going to do is stitch down this side, which will finish this edge, and then we'll clip off the excess of the zipper. And you wanna do that on both sides. So find your mark, pinch down where the mark is, bring your edge up while keeping your finger down, and then just pin it in place. Okay, so now we have our side stitched up and we're just going to cut off the excess zipper. My scissors went into the side of it, which is no big deal. All I'm going to do is hit this with a lighter and this also. This is going to be sewn up so that doesn't matter. And so we have prepped our zipper and now we're going to put it into the zipper panel. Start mine by putting one piece of vinyl on each side. I leave about a quarter of an inch from the top of the zipper to the top of the panel. And I'm going to just put a clip on that to hold the zipper in place. And we're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. Make sure that it is nice and even across the top of both of them. And then clip that in place. Let's open up our zipper. And I'm going to make sure that the um, there's about a quarter inch of zipper tape exposed all along the side. And then I'm just going to clip that in place. And then we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. Okay, so now we have our zipper in our panel and we're going to add the backs of it now. So what you're going to do is take another one of your zipper panel pieces, just line up the top and the side and then clip that in place. We're going to start on the end. We're gonna to come to the beginning and then we're going to clip along the way. So make sure that it's nice and flush up top as well as the side and then clip that in place. 
And then we're just gonna go down and do it for the entire piece. And then now what we have to do is make sure that it's clipped together on the zipper part. So we just want to hold the zipper and everything in place and then reposition our clips. So hold your panel, the front, back, and zipper, take it off, and then just reposition it. And so now the front and the back are clipped in place. And do the same thing on this side. We're gonna add the back here. So now we have the front and the back on our zipper and what we're going to do is start by stitching down, up, and across and then same thing, down, up, and across. You wanna get as close to the edge of the vinyl as possible. If you did edge coat, you want the long side that is edge coated on the zipper. This side doesn't have to be edge coated because it's going to be sewn into our bag. So and you want to make sure that your zipper tape that's exposed is equal all the way down. As you take your clips off, you can adjust it. When you're done making your panel, if there's any overhang from the back showing, you can just take a pair of scissors and trim that down. If you need to do it on the side where the zipper is, all you want to do is make sure that you pull that down and then you can trim it to make sure that it's nice and even. The last step on our zipper panel is just to add our zipper end. Okay, we're going to start with our zipper end, the longest part down. And we're going to make a line down the center. We're going to add a piece of quarter inch tape along each of the edges. And then we're going to tape off, take off the back of one side. Center the zipper so that the same amount of exposure here is here. So you want to center the zipper Press that tape down. Take off the other piece. Fold this up and make sure that this end aligns with this end. And then push that tape down. And then now what we're going to do is stitch all the way around. And then that is what our zipper end looks like. If you have any overhang that happens on the sides, again, you can just use your scissors and trim that up. Now, if you want to add your zipper panel to the inside lining of the Big B, it's done a little bit differently. You want to follow the pattern to where you have added your slip pocket and your zipper pocket to the interior pieces and then the next step that you want to do from the pattern is go ahead and attach the bottom so the pattern tells you to mark the center of your panel each panels and then the center of your bottom then you're going to match those center seams up and you're going to stitch on your bottom you're going to clip the excess material and then you're going to do the same thing here you're going to sew the other piece of lining to the bottom and then we'll add our zipper panel. Okay, after you have added the bottom to your interior panels, what you wanna do, we're going to just fold this over and work with this panel for now. You want to mark the center of the top. You're also going to mark the center of your zipper panel on the right side of the zipper. You wanna line those centers up and then clip them in place. And then now what you're going to do is take the top band for the interior and you're going to continue on with the pattern for this side. So we're going to 
clip them right sides together. Let's adjust our clips to include the panel. And then you're gonna go ahead and sew that down. And then you're going to open this piece up and you're gonna do a top stitch. So you're going to continue the steps for the interior one side lining. Okay, so now we have stitched the zipper panel in and then we open that up and did a top stitch. And we're going to do the exact same thing over here. We're going to pull the top of our zipper we're going to match up the center mark on the panel with the center mark of the zipper. Clip that in place. And then we're going to take the top panel, flip that right sides together, clip that in place. And we're going to stitch that down and then we're going to open this up and we're going to top stitch just like we did over here. Okay, so now we have our zipper panel attached to each sides, And so this is what it should look like. And then now the next step is going to be to follow the remaining part of the pattern for the interior. You want to stitch your sides down together and then you want to close your sides and your bottom. So now when you're done your interior should look like this. You now have a zipper closure instead of a magnetic snap closure and then when you're ready to insert it inside of the exterior, you'll just turn this right side out and then continue the pattern sewing this all the way around.